Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tuco from Music ID TV, and this is Use the News. So, a lot of us have heard about release strategies, even on the Brand Man channel, about whether or not you should release singles, whether or not you should release long mixtapes, a lot of different opportunities that you have when it comes to releasing your music. One thing he kind of notes is that if you don't have the resources, be very mindful on your release strategy because your strategy has to match your resources. Now, resources generally come down to having a single that you can promote that's generally a better way for an independent artist but a lot of us have kind of seen that some people release really long albums for whatever reason and I wanted to kind of dive into that a little bit so we can have an idea about what type of release strategy we should have and why people are even releasing longer albums to help you define what it is you need to do for where you are in your career. So here are three reasons why artists have been releasing longer albums. Number one, more streams. 1500 streams equate to one album sale. Now, when you have people like Chris Brown who released Heartbreaks on a Full Moon, or Heartbreak on a Full Moon, I think, on a Full Moon, in a Full Moon, Heartbreak on a Full Moon, he had about 45 tracks on there, and that extended way over the normal time of an album, and it was way longer, but he was able to have the album go gold within 10 days of its release. Reason being is because when you have 45 songs on an album, it's not that hard to get to 1,500 streams when you're as popular as Chris Brown is, so consider that. Number two, listeners seem to want something new. 60% of listeners are always looking for something else to listen to, and they kind of get burned out by listening to the same thing. A lot of people are discovering new music, and we don't always go back to the same artist. So 60% of people not going back to listen to a project more than a few times doesn't really help you get your streams up. If you have a longer project, then you can kind of appease those people who want to find something new and have them discovering something new along with listening to your project all the way through because it's new material. So it feeds into the concept that people don't listen to albums as much. And if you listen to it a few times and you have more songs, well, that raises your chances for you to be able to get a gold or platinum album by having a lot more songs for them to listen to. It's way easier to get to 1500 streams. And number three, the most popular artists are doing it. It's way more common for people in the hip hop and R&B world to release more and more music and longer and longer albums. Drake, Future, and Migos have all released projects well over an hour length, unlike Bruno Mars who released a project which was generally around like 33 minutes or so, which is average based off of tradition from vinyl records, which only allowed you to have so much time on an album. And that's why album lengths kind of had the standard thing, but now with streaming, you can go as long as you want to. Some people are taking advantage of that and you're actually seeing it pay off because hip hop, with it being a common thing to do in hip hop, also might have helped hip hop become the number one stream genre on these platforms. So consider the fact that it's been working for them. So I would definitely say for new artists who are looking to potentially utilize a strategy, you may want to postpone it until you have enough interest to where you know people are going to go and listen to this long ass project you might be trying to release. Yes, Chris Brown, Migos, Drake, those are larger people. Are you as large as them? No, but it's good to know why they're doing what they're doing when you hear someone else tell you you should release singles. It's good to know the balance. They're in different places in their career, which you may or may not be at the time. So definitely consider, I would suggest, consider releasing singles until you have enough interest towards people might be interested to listen to a longer album from you. If you you don't have the following to back that up, build the following to get there. But in the comment section below, let us know if you've ever released a lengthy project and if that worked out for you. I would definitely love to know that because since I'm suggesting releasing singles, if anybody's had a lot of progress as a new artist releasing longer projects, it would be nice to know that so we can have something else to kind of consider when we're thinking about our release strategies. Beyond that, for more videos like this, be sure to share with a friend, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.